Hello guys, it's the Real White Mix, Thunder Ben, or just Ben, however you want to call me. I want to welcome you guys back to a third episode of the Inheritance Game. Today, unlike last time, we'll be playing Italy, but in Mexico. I got this game from Jan, and the year is 1537. And today, I'm not going to be doing any sort of pre-game pause intro. I'm just going to hop right into it and explain to you what I'm doing in post. As for the actual gameplay, as you can see here, we're no longer in Europe. We're in the savage jungles of the Yucatan Peninsula and in the Mexican highlands. And of course, that can only mean one thing, which is forming Mexico. But before that, I've got to, as you do in all inheritance saves is see where your country is and right now my country my country is actually much better than it was the last time i got it i don't have crippling debt i've got plenty of crown land but we still need to fix a little bit we don't need all these cannons we'll get rid of a few of them and well just generally doing a few tweaks here and there to improve my economy now, as I mentioned before, we are in Mexico. And what follows from that is that we are going to be forming another tag. You guessed it, Mexico. And uh, I know it's not the best tag. Oftentimes, people say tech is better. And in fact, it definitely is. So to discuss the ideas here, I'll be bringing in my friend, Jan. You know him. He's probably the guy that you've watched before this. He's the guy that gave me the save. And we'll be discussing all the perks, the benefits, the pluses and minuses of forming the colonial nation of Mexico. All right, so Jen, tell me what you think about these uh, Mexican ideas. I know you're Mr. Idea Guy. You love your ideas. Uh, yeah. They're like in the middle of the line. They're not, not, not great. They're not terrible. Yeah. Uh, as I was saying earlier, like every each of those ideas they have they're all right but there's always for everything they have there's something better you know like uh the manpower recovery speed for example yeah manpower recovery speed's always nice but like you the extra like 15% uh, uh, why, 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 yeah why is it 50% why why isn't it like 300% you know what yeah okay. but we're talking about like if 15% recovery speed is objectively just not as good as 15% more manpower, right? Like when you get 15% more manpower, you're automatically getting 15% manpower recovery speed additionally. Where are we going with this? I'm just, we're just talking about Mexican ideas. Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, it's not much to talk about. I mean, like, I, I mean, all right. Amongst like, I, I amongst need, the need, other like, I need to get, need to get like some mill buffs and eco yeah. buffs and such. I think I think the stronger strongest idea they probably have is uh, production efficiency. Like, it, like uh, yeah, fifteen percent sort of production is them. good. Yeah, yeah I think there's a, that, there's not a lot of countries that get that amount buffed up. Yeah. So that's quite unique to Mexico, but after that, everything like like for single player, like it'll it'll do us fine. I reckon like it's not much to worry about. Like, I, mean, can... I th I think when you're analyzing country ideas, you have to look at them in a in two different lights: in the single player and multiplayer. You light. formed this, didn't you? It wasn't Lawrence. It was you, right? Uh, I formed well, Mexico. Oh, yeah, yeah. I was intending to. Uh to form texas <laughs> I mean, texas has the the thing is why i picked mexico is because they get a lot more claims they have a few events and uh they they have better like single player ideas uh, yeah i guess i mean if you're going at it that angle kind of um i was actually gonna go for maya but yeah, yeah, no, Maya would have definitely been better, but you have to be a. It wasn't even about legend. it being better; it would have been funny. 
Yeah, no, it would have been funny too. But you have, yeah. don't you have to be Mayan religion to form Maya? Yeah, I was, so ba basically, like, I got the Zalots up, and um, they, like, I didn't really read properly, but when I checked on it, like, it basically said, like, the provinces were going to defect. Rather than convert. Yeah, so it basically was going to, like, release nations, like, as if it was separatists. Like, yeah, oh, load yeah. Of bollocks. No, of course you don't want that. So it's, yeah, it's, it's really frustrating. Um, yeah, I wish I wish Paradox would just let you switch to. Uh, I I don't know. It's, I mean, if your culture's weird. Maya, like, might as well. Right. Yeah. I mean, I shift I shifted to Yucatec, and then uh, got the really those Mayans out of it. And, oh god, and, and, like majority of my country is Maya, but now nah, it's gonna defect. Yeah, I mean, oh, I don't know what their reasoning was behind that. Maybe because you're Western uh, or or Eastern government. Yeah, uh, tech, Eastern tech, yeah. government. Not quite. Right. But we we digress. So, like the Mexican ideas, you also have to look at them through the light that you can only really compare them to other New World ideas. And what is there to compare them to? There's like the Aztec ideas. They're like middle of the line. Well, if it was for a colonial nation to form, they're middle of the line. Yeah, uh, honestly, like, if you're gonna be Texas a is better, Alaska's better in my opinion. Uh, what's the other one? Vermont is the new one. Yeah, Vermont. Vermont is Vermont is probably the best because it right. it's the only one that gives you discipline in addition to morale. Yeah. I mean, I'd I'd form USA over the. Over Mexico, yeah, in single player, like, I would too. Like, like, no, not in. Yeah, 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 in single player. Like, like, which is sort of what I thought the goal was gonna be. Um, I mean, I did. Uh, I believe we don't have limited nation forming on in the campaign. Do you know about that? I don't know. Uh, wait, wait. I th was are you sure it wasn't Lawrence who formed Mexico? I definitely formed Mexico. No, Lawrence did the yeah he he did the he's the one who he released like, the uh, yeah Italy, nation. Italy, yeah <laughs> yeah no um yeah but by, I, I mean yeah the 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 US ideas are very similar to the Mexican ones um yeah. to be fair it, it, militarily speaking yes they not yeah. just no, not just military militarily speaking the. Although the American ones do get some of other ideas, uh, America gets a merchant, like, an extra merchant, an extra colonist, yeah, yeah. Uh, and Republican tradition. Yeah. Also, like, what about what about just like colonial ideas? Like, colonial nation ideas are pretty good too. They got uh, they got morale. They have a twenty percent global settler increase, yearly inflation. Well, that... Oh, but they also have the highest. Uh, Republican tradition increase in the game at point five. Well, that's that's the weird thing. It's like you form Mexico, but your the ideas you get for it aren't too different. Like it, you're not forming Mexico for the ideas. You're forming it for the tag and the claims. Yeah. So, which is um, yeah, you know, you know how I am. I don't, I don't do things for just tags and claims. You know. Or the memes. So either, yeah, either for the memes. Which is, I can get why Mexico for that. Yeah. Um, it would yeah, be better if I'd they like, had some more uh, New World missions. But if, it's, we're talking, if, if we're talking ideas, it's like, like, like between 5 and 10, I'd rate Mexico a 4 or a 5. Sorry, 1 to 10 or 4 or 5. I don't know. You get what I mean? Yeah, I know what you're talking about. I would like, rate it a bit higher in single player because of the years of separatism. <laughs> I find that one of to be one of the strongest like. Right, but we're not. It's not like we're, we're, I mean, we could be going for a world conquest, but even for world conquering, it's. No, it's I'd not still, core creation cost uh, or. I, I'd still rate it in the middle of the line. Like, if it's all in single player, I'm going to be thinking, okay, is are these ideas good for world conquest? Well, not really. They're not that amazing. Like for world conquest, like between. I mean, if we're going to compare Mexico with Texas, like. I'd argue Texas is better, you know? Well, what does Texas have on Mexico? Well, first off, uh, no religion penalties, I think. 
So, uh, yeah, but like that's a, that's a simple fix with humanist. That's a simple fix with well, religious or humanist. right. But then, it, but then, but then it's like. It's not just like you don't have to take humanist as Texas, right? Like you say, oh, then you have to. And like, it's, I could it's make, no. I could, make, I could make that argument for literally any of the ideas that are lacking with Mexico. Oh, they just have to take this idea group. We're not talking about idea groups. We're talking about their national ideas, just straight up. I'm talking and about. And if we're objectively talking about single player world conquest, I'm going to say Texas is better. Because of the because uh, of the heretics or heathens, yeah, like you just can't. Like, what does Mexico get? Oh, separate years of separatism. That is, that's it. That's the only uh, thing that like, buffs them in, in more conquest. And sure, Texas doesn't get that, but then in exchange, they get something I'd argue is much better. Okay, well, okay. There's, there's this other one. Uh, I would honestly, I honestly would... think years of separatism is worse because think about it this way: when you conquer a province, you're getting ten, uh, you're getting ten uh, unrest from separatism. You cut it down by five. Right, but that gets increased. Sorry, that that get like like that gets increased with whether or not you uh, tolerate that religion or not, right? And for most cases, you're not going to tolerate it. However. Without any penalties. Yeah, but the, the toleration better. penalty is like, never okay, is not then, gonna be bad. Start, it's gonna be you, like one you, or two. Okay, okay, but you talk you then you're talking about humanist ideas. Alright, let's talk about humanist ideas. Right, you take humanist ideas with, with Mexico, okay, so you get this years of separatism, you get humanist ideas, you might get still get a few rebels, who knows? With Texas, you are hundred percent very likely not to get any rebels at all from with with that idea. So again, like I'd say that proves as to why that uh, idea is much better. Heretic and heathens um, penalty go away. Uh, the other thing about Texas is uh, they get an idea called Vaqueros, which is minus 10% land attrition and plus 15% movement speed, which means moving your troops around in big stacks. Yeah, the movement a, speed faster, is fantastic. And a... they're going to get less less land attrition, which which means again you can conquer the world a little bit faster. Whilst for Mexico, they don't get anything like that. Yeah, you're right about the movement speed and the attrition. I think that is a better, a better reason for the world of conquest, because yeah. also like, like, you're saving. You're going to be saving a lot more on troops on world of conquest. Plus, because of Texan um, uh, other military ideas like land uh, fire damage received, land fire damage uh, given, uh, and then the morale of armies. Like all that together is like you win more battles, or you're more likely to win more battles. Uh, you're going to lose less troops in these battles, which means you're going to save on manpower and uh, money. Yeah. Uh, then there's the stab cost. So if you wanted to uh, no CB someone, and then put your stab up again, like it's cheaper stab, so you're saving on admin, which can be used for coring things. What does Mexico get? They get they get an ideas cost, which I'd say that's pretty decent. But um, by the time you form Mexico you're already through like two or three of your ideas you're not quite getting as much from ideas well, you're, you're not even going to get the idea cost until you've taken 12 ideas mm -hmm. already which exactly. is one and a half idea groups like, like it, that 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 is much more powerful at the earlier part of the game later on in the game it's still nice but you're not going to save as many points so yeah objectively speaking well also it depends on your government if you're if you're uh if you're a like general estate or uh, a republic, you're not going to be spending nearly as much on stability as you will on ideas. Yeah, now, I'm I'm only bringing up Texas because like we're talking about alternatives you could have formed, and mostly talking about the ideas. ideas. We're we're strictly and, talking and, and, about the ideas. And objectively speaking, the Texan ideas are just better. Of course they are. I think Mexican <laughs> ideas are much are come much closer <laughs> in uh in single player in single player only. Hands down, multiplayer ideas, Texan whoops right. Mexico I mean, out of the water. It, uh, for, for single player I would have gone for Texas as well. Um Yeah, I'd say they're better in single player as well. Maybe in the re within the region, yeah, but, uh, as Mexico you can unite the region way way faster because you you have 25% yeah, 
for creation cost and on all those claims too because right. it's yeah. because they're permanent claims but uh, that doesn't that's not for the whole world and i think in the long run texas is a stronger nation to go for for world conquest yeah for world conquest which isn't necessarily something we're going for i mean also the yearly inflation reduction is really good cuz like right now we're i'm i'm sucking up a lot of money to inflation every every year and buying down inflation is is something i don't know if you buy down inflation frequently I but do. i do i do and the yearly inflation reduction is quite good in that sense yeah then, I think know, that's 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 another one which is like yeah I can see the benefits of, um, especially in such a gold rich area of the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, thank you, Jan. Thank you, Jan, for that fantastic discussion about how terrible the Mexican ideas were. But anyways, back to the commentary of what the heck is going on with Mexico. Two big things happened during that discussion of the Mexican ideas. One was me uh, cleaning up some of the borders within Mexico. And the second was uh, a big war I had with Portugal. What happened in the war with Portugal is that Portugal decided they want some of this sweet gold from the Mexican highlands. And obviously, I wasn't going to let them have it. Unfortunately, Portugal had an army that was about five times as large as mine. And that's not even including their other, uh, their other colonies, including Portuguese, Mexico, and Brazil, that were also trying to invade this independent Mexico. Additionally, Portugal has Miltec on me. And so does Brazil. The only advantage that I have is that I am a human player. I'm defending. And uh, most importantly, I'm defending from the other side of an ocean. This is a big problem for Portugal, obviously, because they can only send so many soldiers over as they have transports. And luckily for me, they only have 12 transports in their main fleet. Additionally, my fleet was actually able to pick off some of the Portuguese colonies' fleets uh, to get some cheap war score and prevent some blockading. The war goal was a, a show superiority war goal, I think. Either that or was a province. Either way, I was winning all the battles as I could easily smash the colonies as they were at the same tech level as me, and I could just field more troops than them. And uh, Portugal couldn't send as, over as many troops as it needed to. Oftentimes, I would uh, be able to land, get to the province they were landing on before they were. Because they were landing, actually, so often. Uh, instead of shock or fire being the most important pips on the leaders I had, I was actually looking for maneuver pips so I could get to the, uh, get to the border provinces as quickly as possible and get that defensive terrain bonus. There was one crucial engagement off the coast of Havana where uh, Portugal was landing 20 troops along with some of their colonies, and 20, I think my maximum troop count at the time was just a little over 20. Given that Portugal was at least two techs, mil techs ahead of me, I really needed to get onto the island or get to the coast before they did. And I wasn't actually going to make it. So I ended up sacrificing my Navy to hold, to engage in a naval battle for a couple moments before uh, port, my soldiers got there, which granted them enough time to let, get to the province the AI was landing on and get a good defensive bonus, which caught, allowed me to break their army and stack wipe them. Eventually, I got a lot of war score on Portugal, enough so that they gave me several thousand ducats and uh, war reps, which amounted to about four or five a turn, depending on how much 
Portugal was making at the moment. Near the end of the Portuguese war, my ruler died and I was forced to make another choice. This time, uh, the best ruler was actually a statist, statist, rather than a monarchist, which meant I only had four years left of my turn in the inheritance game. With these four years I had left, I wanted to make the most of them, conquer as much land as possible, and thankfully I was a colony, which meant uh, that I was able to conquer as much land as possible, uh, because conquering land from colonial nations is ridiculously cheap in terms of overextension and war score cost. Unfortunately, I had one big problem after the Portuguese War, and that was the problem of uh, religious conflicts. You see, the religion of my country was Protestant, but because most of these uh, provinces around here are not Protestant at game start, in fact, they're Mayan or Nahuatl, the religion of the Aztecs, uh, I was suffering terrible, terrible religious unity penalties and was given this looming disaster for most of my post-Portuguese war campaign. Uh, it got so bad that while I was converting provinces, I got to two months before the trigger date, before I was able to get above 75% uh, religious unity, which was incredibly clutch, very close, and barely, very narrowly escaped disaster. Anyways, my first conquest of colonial nations was into Portuguese Colombia. They had some provinces close to Mexico near the Panama Canal, though not the Panama Canal itself, as France owns that, actually. But I was able to take their provinces in the Isthmus of Panama, as well as most of their provinces on the northern coast of South America, the Colombian provinces, the Colombian and Venezuelan provinces, I should say. With that out of the way, that set me up for a perfect expansion into Dutch Brazil. Uh, I focused all my forces onto Dutch Brazil. They're very easy. They're a colony. Uh, I should mention, when you declare on a colony as a new world empire, you do not call them their overlord. So it's just me. I got to wallop on both Italian Colombia and Dutch Brazil. Unfortunately, it took me a couple years to full siege each of them. And by the time I was finished with Dutch Brazil, my ruler had died. I waited the six years for the time, uh, the event timer to take place. And I took as much land as I could from Dutch Brazil. Now I'm leaving the country in a decently good spot for Lawrence. He's got a lot of land, he's got a lot of power, and he's got a lot of new expansion routes. Uh, he's got some problems, he still faces uh, a lot of religious pluralism, though not a looming disaster. And he has a lot of overextension and is behind on admin tech. However, I don't think any of these problems are terrible and are very fixable for a skilled player like Lawrence. Anyways, I want to thank you guys for watching all the way to the very end. I hope the audio in this episode is much better than it was for the first episode. And again, if you have any feedback for me, please leave it in the comments, as well as don't forget to like and subscribe as every YouTuber tells you to do. Goodbye, y'all, and I'll see y'all next time.